Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are keeping well. I am Priyanka, your science teacher. Today I am here to start with the unit 7. That is natural resources. And chapter number 16. The name of the chapter is water. So let's start this topic. Water is a renewable natural resource. It is a vital body fluid which regulates life processes such as digestion of food, transportation of nutrients and excretion of body wastes etc. It is also required for the germination of seeds. Water is an important participant of photosynthesis. Water provides habitat to many animals and plants. All animals and plants living in water are adapted to live in water. There is enough water on the earth to meet our present requirements. But there is a global shortage of usable water. At many places, there is an acute shortage of water. It is estimated that a few years from now, more than one third of the people on our earth will not get sufficient water to live. The water table is falling in most areas. If something is not done to check it, soon we will be facing water crisis. To prevent it, we should save water as a part of community efforts in this direction. Water harvesting is being encouraged. An extra mile. March 22 is celebrated as the World Water Day. Year 2003 was observed as the International Year of Fresh Water. Availability of water on Earth. When we look at the picture of Earth taken from space, it appears blue. Do you know why? About 71% of Earth's surface is covered with water. It is the most abundant substance on the Earth. Therefore, our Earth is called a watery planet. 97.5 of the water available on Earth's surface is present in the seas and oceans. This water is salty or saline and therefore unfit for human consumption of the remaining 2.5% a major portion 1.7% is found in the frozen forms as ice caps on the top of the mountains and in glaciers. Only 0.8% fresh water is available is river water, lake water, and groundwater and is it fit for use for human beings. So we can say that actual amount of water available for human use is highly negligible. Water distribution on the earth. Children, are you able to see this chart? This chart is showing the water distribution on the earth or the how is the water is distributed. Various forms of water. Water covers part of the earth called hydrosphere. Hydro, huda means water. In nature, water exists or is found in different forms. 71% of earth is covered with water. Hydrosphere consists of water in all its different natural forms. Liquid forms of water. Are you able to see these three pictures? These three pictures depicting the liquid form of water lake, river and sea. Now solid forms of water. What is a solid form of water? When we found water in the form of glacier, mountains with snow, snow on road, that is a solid form of water. Now vapor and gaseous form of water, fog and water vapor or steam is a gaseous form of water. Table. This table is showing various forms of water with examples. Forms of water and examples. 1. Flowing or running water. Lakes, rivers, seas, oceans. 2. Frozen water or ice. Glaciers, ice cap, snow caps on mountain, ice sheets. Third, water vapor in atmosphere, water in ground, underground water, in earth or soil, 
वाटर साइकिल और हाइड्रोलॉजिकल साइकिल वाटर साइकिल और हाइड्रोलॉजिकल साइकिल यू नो दैट वाटर एग्जिस्ट इन थ्री फॉर्म्स सॉलिड लिक्विड एंड गैस द कॉन्टिन्यूस साइकिलिंग ऑफ वाटर अमंग इट थ्री फॉर्म्स की the total amount of water constant in nature this is done by water cycle or hydrological cycle it takes place at local level and at global level it involves various processes such as evaporation transpiration condensation precipitation and percolation ground water as an important source of water the total water is collected in the ground between the space of rocks in the ground this water is very important source of fresh water to all of us water table the upper level where all the pores in the soil and gaps between the rocks are filled with water is called water table water table is measured from the earth's surface thus it may also be defined as follow the minimum depth in the soil where all the pore spaces are filtered with water is called water table water table may vary from lesser than a meter to several meters water table varies from place to place and season to season it falls down during summers and rises up during rainy season factors affecting water table water table is affected by the following factors average rainfall in that area use pumping out of the ground water causes for the lowering of water table poor rainfall may be due to large scale cutting of trees excessive use of the ground water ground water the water found below the water table is called ground water the ground water helps us mainly in the following two ways The groundwater provides soil moisture for plant growth. It supplements water in streams, lakes, wells, hand pumps, etc. The groundwater in the form of well water and hand pump water is used by us for our daily activities. The groundwater contains many dissolved salts. It may also contain some bacteria and other organisms. The main source of groundwater is the rainwater and the water in rivers, lakes and ponds. The rainwater and water in various water bodies such as ponds, rivers, lakes etc seeps through the soil and percolates down into the earth and fills the empty space between the soil particles and the rocks. The process of the process of seeping of water into the ground is called infiltration. the seeped water collects between layer of hard rocks this is called an aquifer water in the aquifer can be pumped out to the earth surface with the help of tube wells hand pumps or submersible pumps aquifers are recharged by the rain water seeping into the soil repletion of water table The fall of water table takes place because of a less scanty rainfall in the area b deforestation of the area c less seepage of water due to less rainfall concrete road streets etc d excessive use of ground water for industries constructions wastage etc e increasing of human population and demand for supplying water depletion of ground water ground water depletion is a key issue these days it has been estimated that during past 20 year the level of ground water has been falling rapidly the major causes of ground water depletion are one rapidly rising population and changing lifestyle increase in population has increased the demand of ground water more and more ground water is being extracted for constructing houses building factories etc this leads to depletion of water table second agricultural activities increase in population has also led to an increase in the crop production 
For this, more and more well have been drilled for irrigation in the past two decades. Third, reducing forest cover. Increase in population has led to rapid expansion of urban areas. For constructing more and more houses, the forest cover is being removed. This result in the removal of a soil. As a result, less amount of water is seeping into the ground, thereby causing lowering of water table. Loss in forest cover also cause soil degradation. Fourth, reducing quality of ground water. Sometimes toxic substances get dissolved in the contamination of ground water. Even though water can be treated to get rid of contaminants. This can prove to be very costly. Therefore, we should take care that the water does not get polluted. Distribution of water. Water covers about 71% of the earth's surface. But its distribution of the earth is not uniform. Some places are water rich where as some others are water deficient. Distribution of water on the earth depends upon many factors. The rainfall is one of the most important factor. The area which get excessive rain are water rich and have thick forest cover. The areas which get very little rains are deserts. Ours is a vast country. The extent of rainfall differs from place to place. On the basis of annual rainfall, our country has been divided into four zones. Wet zone. Very heavy rainfall more than 200 cm. Intermediate zone. Heavy rainfall between 100 to 200 cm. Semi dried zone. Moderate rainfall between 5 to 100 cm. Arid zone. Very low between 20 to 50 cm. Water management. Groundwater is available in abundance, but this does not mean that we should use it unmindfully. Different ways by which groundwater gets contaminated needs to be properly looked into. This requires thoughtful management of water and cooperation on the part of people and the government. Conservation of water is the best way to fulfill our demand for water. We should conserve water in many ways. In the bathroom, you must turn off the tap while brushing your teeth. Request your father to turn off the tap while shaving. Leaky taps must be repaired immediately. The high capacity toilet tanks must be replaced by ultra low flush models. Shorten your showers. This saves a lot of water. In the kitchen, while washing the dishes, do not leave the water running for rinsing. Use the least amount of detergent while washing dishes. This will Minimize the water needed for rinsing the dishes. Do not wash the vegetables under the running water. Instead, wash them in a container filled with water. Reuse this water for watering plants. In general, water your lawn garden only when required and do not over water the plants. Putting a layer of mulch, leaves, barks, etc. around the plants and trees slows down evaporation of water and enriches the soil. This helps more water to seep underground. Do not water your plants during rains. Dispose of hazardous things properly. Talk to people and convince them not to wash and clean near water bodies. This pollutes the water. If the wastes are disposed of properly, we get safe and clean drinking water supply. Drip irrigation. Plants need sufficient water to grow plants. Absorb water through the roots. Drip irrigation is a technique of watering plants by making use of a system of narrow pipes or tubes with small holes which deliver the water drop by drop directly around the roots. Thus, wastage of water is avoided. This system allows the farmers to produce a high yield with very little water. Scarcity of water and its effect. You have already studied that water is necessary for life. Both plants and animals need water for survival. Scarcity of water affects life. Scarcity 
or water affects plants. First, no food. Without water, the plants cannot carry out the process of photosynthesis. They cannot make food for themselves. Animals directly or indirectly depend on plants for food. Without plants, animals will also have no food available. Second, no oxygen. Without water, the green plants cannot carry out the process of photosynthesis. We know oxygen gases released in the process of photosynthesis. Without photosynthesis, no oxygen will be released by green plants. And hence, no oxygen will be available to animals for breathing. Third, less rainfall. Trees and green plants release a lot of water vapor into the atmosphere through transpiration. This water vapor helps in the formation of cloud in the water cycle. Trees in the forest help in bringing rain. The deforestation is the main cause of less rainfall. Scarcity of water affects animals. Scarcity of water also affects the animals. The animals that face the scarcity of water move from one place to another in search of water. If their needs for water is not fulfilled, they die. During drought, it is observed that many animals and cattle die. This results in loss of life. Scarcity of water affects human beings daily. As water is needed for cooking food, drinking and other daily activities, scarcity of water affects human beings also. People living in areas, region of extreme scarcity of the water, people should use water to their fully and judicially. Every drop of water is precious to them. So students, it's time for Reader's Digest. Water is a renewable natural resources. Water covers parts of the earth called hydrosphere. Water exists in the form of solid, liquid and gas. The upper level where all the pores in the soil and gaps between the rocks are filled with water is called water table. The water found below the water table is called groundwater. Water covers about 71% of earth's surface. So students, it's time to take your leave. We'll meet in the next class. Bye.